What's banging bass heads? You already know it's your boy Blaze Legend here. In today's video, we are again sponsored by Power Max. Big special thanks to Graham at Power Max who has hooked me up with this power supply. Honestly, my best choice of power supply. So let's get straight into it. Still a little bit more tape here. So here's the power max itself. Again, we got some papers here, some warning. Camera won't focus. <laughs> So here it is guys, it is the 120 here, again, uh, thank you again Graham for making this video possible, you're awesome, let's try to get this out, it's kind of hard, I'll be right back when I get this out, she's finally out, let's get a little cinematic view. Okay, so for today's video, we're going to be merging two Power Maxes that would have to be the same model. And what we're going to do here, we're going to wire them both. See my other ones right here. We're going to wire both into parallel to have the same voltage, but times two of the current. So instead of 120 amps, we'll have 240. But it also depends on which Power Max you guys are using. And then you would need distribution blocks. So basically, let's say, blah, 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 down there, but let's say they were here. Uh, positive would go into, let's say this one was positive, you're going to mark this one positive. Positive into positive here, it doesn't matter, it's the whole positive. And you have another one, You the other positive from the power supply will go again here, and then just run one wire once, and then go into your amp. And now let's say this is the negative. We'll go with negative here, pretend another power max, negative, go back in here and run only one wire, and that will go straight into the amp, so it'll be negative and positive. And before you start connecting both power maxes together, make sure they're both on fixed output, not on three stage. So have it to the right. And then you would have to make sure they're both at the same voltage. So if you have a capacitor here or you have a voltmeter somewhere, make sure they're both at the same voltage and then you can proceed with the video. All right, this is me just making sure that it's at the same voltage. It should be 14.38 as the other power max and we can get straight into doing it. And you might want to get you one of these. So you can stick both power maxes in here and then plug it in at the same time. Not sure what would happen if you plug in a power max at one time and then the other at this other time. I don't want to risk that. So maybe just get one of these. Okay, so I got the two distributors uh, screwed up to the box now. I'm doing one of the positives now. Okay, I guess that's tight. It's tight enough. Now let's grab the other positive. Okay, so I got... Both positives from each power max. Okay, so I got one of the negatives from one power supply, and now time to do the other negative. All right, got that done. All right, so now I'm running the positive side into the amp now. I'm, for example, using a capacitor. So if you're not running a capacitor, you'd go straight into your amp with the cable. But if you're using a capacitor, just follow the rules. Positive into positive, positive with the amp, and we're about to do the negative side. Alrighty, so we got the two power maxes, two distros, everything's wired in perfectly into the cap. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, everything's connected. We got both power supplies on. As you can see, the top one's not very lit. I'm not sure why. Let's get a sound test. everything works I do have to say from previous experience previous experience uh, when I when I played it first before I started recording one of the power supply lights went off I'm not sure why it's very confusing and questionable I'm not sure if it still works like that I personally can't see a difference with both 
because this box was made for when I only had one power supply before. So yeah, guys, this is the video. Um, I'll show a picture after five minutes to to show you guys when uh, when the one of the power supplies are off. See one of them. See the one on top. It's kind of struggling to stay on. On camera, doesn't really look like it, but in person, if we just keep waiting. You'll see it turn off. Oh, it's dimming. Anyways, I'll wait until it turns off. There it goes. It's starting to dim. I'm not sure, guys. So, my opinion to you guys is if you're looking for more power, just get Power Max's biggest one, the 120 amp. And stick with it like that, because I'm not sure if I can say myself if this really works. But yeah, guys, this is Blaze Legend, and I'm basing out. Peace.